Welcome back, my beautiful people, to this week in review. I'm gonna get right into it. Today, uh, today's question comes from David, David632. And the question is, Fernando, is there a secret to get a negative review removed from Airbnb? I am actually going to be doing a full video on this, uh, but let me give you a quick answer to that. Is there a secret? No. There is a way to do it though, and the way to do it is to really understand what the policy is for reviews and know what violates that policy. So we, so for example, when we file a request to get a review removed, we take that policy and we literally write verbatim what the guest did to violate that policy. Here's why that's important. And not to bash, well actually I am gonna bash the Airbnb ambassadors. They're not, they're really not the best, right? Uh, they have a script and if anything deviates from that script, they, they, like, they don't know what to do. There's like common sense does, doesn't prevail. It has to check boxes, otherwise um, you're not gonna have much success with them. So that's why I highly recommend you understand what the policy is and figure out what the guest, when they wrote it, how did they violate that policy and then write your request and in your request, make sure that you uh, write verbatim what it was that they violated. And we do that all the time. The, the other thing we do uh, to cover our butt is, for example, a lot of these negative reviews are going to be related to stuff that has nothing to do with the property, which is a violation, by the way. But they'll come in and they'll say something's dirty. You can, you can defeat that by making sure you have evidence of the contrary, right? So we videotape and photograph all of our properties when we, when we hand them over to our guests. In addition, we write a message to our guests the day, the day after they check in, asking them if there were any issues or if there's something that they need that we can provide for them. Um, and you, I can tell you most of the times, They'll write nothing, which is also good because if they write nothing, we take it as there's no issues or they'll write that everything's fine. So they can't, can't come back later and write you a negative review uh, because I oftentimes submit that email or that message that we sent them to Airbnb telling them that what they did was not well or that review wasn't accurate because when we asked them, they said everything was fine. Again, uh, um, doesn't work all the time, but it works a lot of the time. Why? Because these Airbnb ambassadors, all they're doing is checking boxes. And if you can provide something for them to check that's within their box, you're gonna win. Anyways, moving on. So revenue for this week, uh, 73,000, oh, this is rental revenue, $73,358.86. Uh, additional revenue from, from fees, $13,998.28. Booking source, Airbnb came in number one at 62.8%. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, 62.8%. We came in second at 14%. Um, Booking.com came in third at 8.7%. Then we have Marriott at 8.2%. Then we have uh, Home Away at 5.8% and then 1% other. Okay, challenges and obstacles for this week. Uh, really didn't have none, but I, I'm, I'm gonna add this. We are, we are constantly reevaluating our business, right? So one of the things that, and, and we're constantly trying to take on uh, stuff that's going to add more value as, as you, Guys, probably know, and I'm going to mention it now. It's a good time, good segue into our sponsor, Dream Vacations. Um, we're heavily focused on getting to know the Dream Vacation product, uh, getting to know their systems and their processes, so that we can provide you uh, a, a more value and a better either guest experience uh, when you stay in our short term rentals, or if you book a vacation with us, we can provide you a better guest experience with that. Now, being, being that it's a new partnership, it's gonna take us a little bit to get there. Uh, but before I continue, just to, 
do me a favor and take a quick look at this video. So again, I want to thank Dream Vacation for sponsoring this channel. Uh, I'm very excited about the partnership. If you are interested in taking a awesome once of a lifetime vacation, let us know. As, uh, um, we we Dream Vacation being the law the large travel agent that it has, we can get you vacations that the average uh, travel agency cannot, and more importantly. We can give you a better value for your for your dollar um, when you book with us, especially if it's going to be a cruise or a, a European vacation, South America, Alaska. No matter what it is, give us a call. We will we will we will definitely take care of you. Now, uh, next is going to be staffing. Nothing new in staffing. Everything good there. Uh, projects. Okay, so. The Miami project, we're still not finished with it. I, I, you know, we're still delayed because of the permitting issue. Um, the Georgia property, if you follow me on Instagram, you're, you already saw that we've been posting some of the work that we're doing up in Georgia. Um, so again, if you want to know what we do day, day in and day out, you have to follow me on Instagram. Uh, and more importantly, if you subscribe to me on Instagram, you're gonna get a lot of discounts for for stays with us and you're also going to get now a lot of discounts a lot of um, or first dibs on a lot of stuff that's coming out in terms of cruises and uh, all them all inclusive resorts and vacations that we have through dream vacations so um, those that's that um, oh additional projects okay as you can tell I am out of the country. I'm actually in Cartagena, Colombia. We've been hired to optimize two listings. One of the listings um, is right in front of La Torre del Reloj, which is the watchtower. It is a, a, a central point to the old city. Um, one of probably the most popular towers here in, in, in Cartagena, Colombia. Uh, and this unit is directly in front of that. So. In terms of the unit itself, um, when we get contract to optimize a unit, the first thing we do is we look at the listing. The listing wasn't bad. We are going, we are going to make some few tweaks tweaks on it, uh, but here's here's where that host and and the property that I'm in now and, and recording uh, where they both missed the mark. I'm a firm believer that if you you need to sell the experience, right? And when you sell the experience, or what I mean by selling the experience is that you need to uh, um, allow your potential guest to envision him or her in your unit and, and what the experience is going to be when they get to your unit. So in the unit itself, you got to take experience photos both in the unit and outside of the unit in addition both hosts missed the mark on the outside I mean, Cartagena is beautiful people uh it has a lot of culture a lot of history uh the sh it's it's a very unique area uh the only there's a few places i can compare it to but if you've been to old san juan very similar to old san juan in puerto rico so so feature that right as a host you should be featuring the highlights of your not only your property but the surroundings of your property so for example we i mentioned la torre del de reloj um in the listing they had one picture and and barely mentioned that and then right next to it right across the street from there's the marina nothing mentioned about the marina right so we th those are the things that we're going to be adding to that listing uh, in terms of both units, for example, on that unit, it's a historical unit, uh, extremely beautiful, 
they they refurbished it to its original state uh so it's super cool super big uh it's three bedrooms three bath but the unit's big you know if you, if you have come with three guests you're on opposite sides of of the apartment so if once you go to your bedroom you're not hearing anything that's happening or going on in any, any of the other bedrooms uh, I, I just love that unit it has a lot of potential um, I'm hoping and I firmly believe that we could increase that unit's revenue by over 35% easily um, so now speaking of this unit this one needs a lot more work right the listing itself uh, the descriptions are not ideal the photos are definitely not good and the decor itself needs work now the the unit has a lot of potential I mean if you can see I'm at the, at the rooftop um, if, again if you follow me on Instagram you'll see the video the tour of this property but it has a jacuzzi in the rooftop beautiful views of Boca Grande the, the oceans right behind me you can see the watchtower you can see the castle uh, the, the the fort I mean you, I, it's a it's just beautiful but, but you have to you know as a as a potential guest I won't know that unless you feature that and that's what we're working on here in addition here we need to change the the, the, the decor because the unit the it's three stories um, plenty of size uh, decent size for um, the listing states it's, it sleeps six no way no way six people could be here comfortable because uh, the, it's it's it, the really it's really small uh, although it's vertically big but once you get to a floor it's small you know uh, so no way fit six but comfortably four people can, can stay here although there's only one bedroom in the living room they have a sofa bed and in the bedroom they have a queen bed and then they have a a, um, a day bed with a pull out uh, single anyway I'm gonna end this video here if you have any questions concerns comments list them below follow me on Instagram if you want to see our day-to-day -day. Uh, subscribe to the channel give some love to my sponsor dream vacations love you guys see you in the next one